Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, we are gonna build a streaming pipeline using Kinesis Stream, Apache Flink and Hoodie. That is correct. So basically we wanna build a real-time pipeline. Um, basically data is coming at a very high velocity. Uh, for this demo, we are gonna take stock data. So we're gonna insert stocks data into Kinesis Stream. Uh, the requirement is low latency and hence we have adopted Flink for this demo. And we are gonna essentially perform upsert, or, you know, or insert data into our data lake, uh, or basically hoodie tables, right? For this demo, I'll be leveraging the MOR version, right? So hoodie has cow and MOR, right? So MOR is basically uh, merge on read, right? It's much more better for streaming use cases, right? So this is a hands-on demo uh, on how you can get started with Kinesis, Apache Flink and Apache Hori. So let's get started straight into action. Uh, before we begin the project, uh, all the exercise material, including all the code that I'm go gonna use in this demo will be provided on the GitHub section, including the jar files, because we would need uh, to add uh, an external connector in the Flink. So we'll have everything uh, on the GitHub section. So let's get started. So the first thing uh, that we wanna do is we wanna come to the Kinesis service and basically head over to the data stream and then click on create stream. And then here I'm gonna use a provision but you can also use on demand and you wanna name this stream as stock streams, okay? So I'm gonna name this as stock stream and then I'm gonna click on create stream. As you can see, my stock stream is now ready. Now I'm essentially gonna go to the analytics application on the studio section, I'm gonna click on create notebook. I'll basically click here and then I'll name this project as sample project, click next. I'll let it, uh, you know, choose an IAM role and then I'm gonna ch uh, select my Glue database called stocks, right? You can create one. Then I'm gonna click on next. Scroll all the way on the bottom section. Here is the part we need to add basically two um, connectors here for hoodie and, um, um, you know, um, essentially inserting into the S3, right? So we're gonna have two jar files so what you need to do is you need to upload these jar files on S3. I have already done that. So if you observe in the folder called jar, I have all these jar files. Again, these jar files will be given to you in the GitHub section, so don't worry about that. So click on add um, connector, right? And then what you wanna do is copy the S3 bucket name. That's my bucket. And inside that, um, that's the file I wanna use. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna remove the slash, okay? And that's done. I'm gonna click on save. Now I'm gonna add one more. So I'm gonna click on custom, right? Again, I'll perform the same exercise. I'll put the bucket name here and then I'll copy the jar here. Click on save changes. Observe here carefully, I have added two jar that is Flink S3 FS Hadoop 1.13.2 and Hoodie Flink Bundle 2.12-0101. Um, so that's the two jar file. Click on next and now review your settings and then all you need to do is basically click on create studio. So my notebook is in now in the ready state. Now I'll click on run and click on run again. And now this will be now in the starting state. Uh, once this is done, I'll essentially click on uh, open Apache Zeppelin. So I'm gonna wait for this to complete. So my notebook is finally in the running state as you can see. And now you can click on the button that says open in Apache Zeppelin. So this will open up. And now basically what you wanna do is say create new note and type in any name. I've already done that. So I'm gonna take the project that I already have. So KDA, right? The first thing that we wanna do is flink.conf execution checkpoint interval. We wanna set that to 5,000. I'm gonna do that. Then the next thing that we wanna do is we're gonna create a table called stock table. Uh, we have a, a column called UUID ticker price and an event time. Uh, here we are using a Kinesis connector and then the stream name is stock stream. We have it, right? We just made that in the first step, right? So here you can see stock stream, right? Hopefully that made sense. And here the former as JSON and I'm using um, scan stream init pause as latest. So basically all the latest, right? You can also use trim horizon as well or add a sequence, right? So here you can see if I go now to my glue um, database called stocks and here I see the table. That's great, congratulations. Now the next step is we wanna create a table for hoodie. So I'll show you the steps again, pretty easy. Again, create a table called stock table hoodie, UUID ticker, price event time. Here, connector as hoodie. Remember, this is, we are using S3A. If you just use S3, you're gonna get an error. And this setting is also very important, right? Hoodie embed timeline dot server, set that to false. 
I'm gonna execute the cell. And here you can see the table has been created, right? So here you can see uh, stock uh, table hoodie has been now created. Now it is a piece of cake. Now what we have to do is basically you'll be given a Python file. We just need to run this Python file. So I just started my Python file and now you can see we are inserting data at an interval of two seconds into Kinesis data stream. Now, what we want to do is, again, we have a two tables. One is the table called stock table, right? And the next table that we created was stock table hoodie. So we're going to take the data from Kinesis, the streaming data that is, again, inserted at a very, um, you know, rapid rate. And now, basically, we're going to insert into the stock table hoodie. And I, again, have the snippets. Again, all these commands are given uh, to you uh, in the notebook section, okay? So now, basically, I'm going to pause this for a while and here I'm gonna say okay okay and um, then we'll say insert into stock table hoodie and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say select everything from and we're gonna select the one from the kinesis that is a stock table right and I'll give a semicolon here and then I'm gonna run this again now I will start my Python file again here you can see we are inserting data, right? Now, uh, so we are inserting data into Kinesis. The Flink is gonna process. And now what we should see is in this directory, Sawmill and uh, demo stem, I should see my Apache Hori tables. So again, right now I don't have it. I'm gonna refresh. Um, still I don't have it, so I'm gonna wait for a while, right? Um, so as you can see, we are inserting data into Kinesis at this point. Um, my Flink is running. So I'm simply gonna wait for a couple of seconds and then if I come back to my S3 and here you can see my temp and that's my hoodie metadata, right? These are all hoodie metadata and pretty soon within a second or two, I should be seeing all my base file coming in, which is basically data file, right? And remember we are using a mor that is merge on read. You can also go for copy on write, right? So depending upon the use case, again, as I said, so it's running, you can also um, play with the frequency. So I can, I have a delay of two seconds. If you want, you can you can remove it and you can even do this and probably it'll be fine. Here you can see it should be it should be fine. Okay. So now I'm just gonna stop that and I'll try to go to the S3. And here you can see Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, it is partitioned, and each partition will have its own metadata and its base file. It will come up sh uh, uh, shortly. So what you have essentially seen is now um, again you, you have seen an end-to-end -end demo where we inserted data into Kinesis at a very high rate. Now we were processing the data using Flink SQL and we were essentially inserting into our data lake hoodie, right? So it's literally that easy. It's a piece of cake, trust me. Well, that's all I have for this video and thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed and please make sure to try the lab out during your free trying. And again, all the resources, including all the SQL commands, the Python code, and the jar files, everything is on the GitHub section uh, listed. So make sure to try these labs out. And if you really like the video, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share the video with your colleagues and friends. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.